The Bible says, anyone that hears the sayings of mine and do it them, I will liken him unto a wise man that built his house. Sir, everybody in your family, I want you to impute their mentality into every one of them. All of us are builders. Everybody is what? A builder. If you forget everything I said, don't forget my pastor said, I should tell my children they are all builders. It's as simple as if they are wasting food. Tell them that's not how builders rise. We are all builders and so you don't waste food in this house. When we waste food, we waste money. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. We don't buy what we don't need in order to please people who don't like us. We are all builders. We sit back and look at our visions. We recast it. Mark it out. Which one has worked? Which one hasn't worked? We tell ourselves, what are we doing differently as a family? How are we growing? Are we growing spiritually? We tick off the boxes. Are we growing emotionally? We tick off the boxes. Are we growing relationally? We tick off the boxes. But the most important thing is that we are builders. We don't look at another person and then we pull them down. No, daddy does not pull mommy down. Mommy does not pull the children down. Daddy does not pull the children down. Everybody is a builder. No matter how upset I am, I should be able to manage my emotions in a way to make you understand that I'm here to build. I'm not here to pull you down. We are all builders. If you are right, don't talk in a way that will now say you are wrong. You are here to build. Let that man want to call you on the phone because he married a builder. Let that woman want to lean on you all the time because he knows that this one is a builder. God, spare us of selfishness because selfishness puts you in a way that you don't understand that you're a builder. You yourself, you are the only one that want to be built. We must build one another. Build them with understanding. Anyone that hear the sayings of my and do it them, he's a builder. The recommendation of Jesus for families are builders. We must build. And I want to say to everyone, anyone who is spending so much building your children, building them, it may not make sense to others. You're building them in prayers. You're building them. You're choosing the right atmosphere. You where you want to put them. It's taking a lot from you. It's costing you so much to build them. Please don't stop. You take off days and you are fasting and praying for your children. Please continue to do that. The recommendation of heaven for families are what? Builders. So go back and let everybody know you're a builder. We're not here to pull that. You hear one child, call another child stupid. Tell them stop it. In this house, we don't abuse one another. We are builders. We don't speak words that deflate other people's spirit. How dare you? There are hawks there. They deflate our spirit. They attack us. When we come home, by all means, we will build one another. I will not be a reason for you to have low self-esteem because in this home, all we do is to do what to build. We are our own cheerleaders because oftentimes we don't understand what it takes. And I need to say to some people, whether it is male or female, you don't understand what it takes for your spouses to put their legs out there. You don't know how the hawks are coming for them. You don't know how people want them to fail by all means. You don't know the attack. Please don't let them come home and you raise another attack. Some people are totally worn out emotionally. Some people are going through so much. They may not tell you, but please don't strike them again. Don't strike them again. Make up your mind, I'm here to build. Understand that most people walked away from you in a relationship because they found that you are not a builder. By all means, make sure that I am here to build. Listen, you may not end up marrying some people, but one thing they will never deny is that while you were with them, you built them. Some people will leave you at some point, but let them always say that while I was with you, you were a builder. You see, the society we're living in is trying to make you selfish. But listen, the true essence of living is not in what we have acquired, but what we have left in others.